everybody, I'm JQ Louise, and I know it's been a while, but this weekend we're taking an awesome road trip up to Vermont, and we're going to a super cool private ski mountain, so I can't wait to show you guys everything, so stay tuned. The Hermitage Inn is about two and a half hours from Boston and almost four hours from New York City. So it's super convenient from either city. And I think for a weekend trip, this is the perfect distance where you get a nice drive. And hopefully if there's snow on the ground, you'll have a really scenic drive through some of those classic Vermont villages. Um, but you know, at the same time, it's not too far. So you're not gonna be spending the whole weekend in the car either. When you get close to the Hermitage Inn, you'll know that you have arrived because you actually drive under their very own covered bridge. This is an awesome photo spot, so be sure to you know snap a picture before you head out. But you pull in, there's this beautiful car turnaround because there's a few different buildings on the property, but when you pull up, you wanna go to the main inn to check in. It really doesn't get more New England than this. The original building is from the 1700s and with a little bit of snow on the ground, this is exactly what you think of when you think of a New England getaway. So we just checked in. This is our awesome room. It's so cozy and chic. The Hermitage Inn just got redone last year and the owners are awesome. They really spent a lot of time on all the details. So I can't wait to show you guys the rest of the hotel. They really focus on their wine program at the Hermitage. So we started with a wine tasting. We did a old world versus new world pairing. So we got to try a ton of awesome wines. Um, I'll leave all the links uh, to the specific wines that we tried below. You can see a few of them here. We had three different sets of wines to try. We were with the sommelier. This was a really fun experience. It's a, it can be a private experience or you can do it with a big group and they gave us you know the wines and then we had some uh, cheese and charcuterie to pair with them this was a great way just to kick off the weekend hey everybody so we just did a wine tasting we're gonna go in and actually put all our luggage away but we're having a great time after the wine tasting, we got ready for dinner at the Tavern. There's two different restaurants at the Hermitage. There's a casual restaurant in the Tavern, and then they have a fine dining restaurant. So the first night we wanted to just keep it casual. So we ate at the Tavern. We got a roast chicken, and it came with some veggies on the side. It was really hearty and really delicious, perfect for a cozy, you know, cold night in Vermont. And we paired it with some awesome wines from the wine by the glass menu that the sommelier recommended recommended to us, so it was the perfect way to kick off the weekend. The next morning we had breakfast at the hotel. It was a continental breakfast that was included. There were lots of pastries, fruit, and some other goodies. This worked out great because it was a quick breakfast before starting our day. Okay, so we just had breakfast. We got ready um, in all our ski stuff. We actually both have some new ski gear that I'm so excited to try out. This is a Macaj set, the jacket and the pants. So super excited to try this. We also have some really cool rental skis that I can't wait to try out as well. So we're at the Hermitage Inn and we're actually gonna go skiing at the Hermitage Club, which is a private members club. The hotel um, invited us as their guests today. So we have guest passes for the mountain. So we're gonna go check that out and I'm super excited. We never have skied this mountain. Um, and actually we got some snow last night, so super nice and it should be a great day. So we're driving up to the Hermitage Club right now. It has kind of a long driveway, pretty similar to a lot of these other mountain mountains in Vermont. Um, we're gonna go and grab our passes. We already have skis. So let's go. We just skied all day at the Hermitage uh, Mountain. Um, so it's a private ski club again. So honestly, this is President's Day weekend, but it wasn't even that crowded. It was definitely busy. We had to wait in a few lift lines, the main um, six person lift um, from the base to kind of the top of the mountain. But um, it was great. I mean, it snowed a little bit. We got to stop at the Mid Mountain Lodge, which was tricky to find. I'll tell you guys how to find it um, if you're gonna ski here, because we actually took, took two or three tries to actually 
find the specific way to get to the Mid Mountain Lodge, but it was great. Um, we got some lunch and then we skied a few more runs. Um, and now we're gonna go back to the Hermitage Inn um, to relax and then we have dinner later on tonight. Um, but yeah, honestly, great ski day. And this is actually our first ski day of the season. So, you know, great way to kick it off. And now it's starting to get sunny out. So yeah, honestly, great ski day. So we're back at the Hermitage Inn. And what's awesome about this hotel, it's a boutique luxury hotel. They actually have a lift that goes directly to the Hermitage Club. So you have to be a member to ski there. We lucked out with the weather. It snowed earlier today. It snowed the last couple of days. So there was some fresh snow on the ground, on the trails. So we had an awesome time skiing and now it's sunny out. We're just enjoying the Hermitage Inn. Um, we're gonna go in, probably go to the restaurant, maybe check out the bar. And honestly, we're just enjoying being in Vermont in the winter time. I honestly haven't had like a snowy trip in a while. So this has been really nice. I'm loving this Macage outfit. It was super warm, but not too hot. So yeah, honestly, today was a great first ski day of the season. After relaxing for a little bit, we went down to the bar to try some of their signature cocktails. They were all so beautifully made. And then afterwards, we headed to Birch's for dinner. We shared a huge tomahawk. It had truffle and mashed potatoes on the side. It was the perfect treat after a day of skiing. And the next morning we slept in and relaxed. We had breakfast again at the hotel and then it was time to pack up the car and head home to Boston. We love this hotel. So if you're thinking about planning a ski trip in Vermont this winter, definitely check out the Hermitage Inn. While you have to be a member to ski at the Hermitage Club, Mount Snow is also right down the street. So that's an awesome option. So definitely check out the hotel this winter. And just so you know, the traffic wasn't too bad coming home to Boston. And be sure to like and subscribe if you're interested in more fun travel content.